Your sisters, you would always bully them around. I remember mother would bring you to me so that I could help you study so that you can get A's. We were all so happy. And then they came. That one day, They burned down our village. They take my brothers and your sisters and shoot them in the head. <coughs> they cry my mother two at a time. Make us watch. Make us watch our village perish. Brother, we are lucky to come to this refugee camp. We have no place to go, no family, no food. There are plenty of your friends who did not make it out. Brother, come here. You have done nothing wrong. Do you want to know why our village is in flames? Why our gala is dust? Well, look at your skin. What color is it? It's black. Dark and black. This is why our ancestors were shipped to slavery and have turned their back. This is why we suffer dead. Father, you must be strong. Think about father. He would say our tribe is too strong. Our blood is too thick. We cannot think about anything. This is in America, brother. This is Darfur. I know it is hard for you. It is hard for me. I cannot handle this. I am 17 years. We have no medicine, no food. What am I supposed to do? It is okay. The Americans, the Europeans, their reporters come here, they know, they know what is going on. They will save us. They will save your friends. Save everybody. Save me! Brother, if they save us, if they come, then we must be better. We must pray to God every day, every single day, that he keep mother safe in heaven. 
I will take care of you. Keep you out of trouble. If they save us, I will marry the most beautiful woman in our God. I have a little girl and a little boy. If nobody comes, if nobody saves us, the Americans will continue to live their lives. If nobody saves us, we will continue to be victims of dark birth. Saves us. They don't care. It's okay, but don't cry.